Hello friends, it is Tuesday, the first week in Advent, and we're being directed to open our Bibles to Isaiah 60 to read verses 1 and 2. This is going to be all about the glory of God. It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness, well, it shall cover the earth and thick darkness over the peoples. But the Lord will rise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. These words of Isaiah were spoken to the Israelites who had lost their homes and been driven into exile. Now they were returning. While God had always been working on their behalf, these words shine with hope and promise for their future. God's glory will shine upon them. Advent is a time of, well, looking back to Jesus' birth and looking forward to his second coming. We live in those in-between times of waiting and watching and hoping. Much as those Israelites had been during the uncertain times they had while they were away from home. As children of God, God's light shines on us too. We live in that same hope and promise. Let's pray. Oh Lord, may we see and experience your glory in our lives every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now friends, our guiding light for today says, research local ministries to the homeless. How can you shine God's light to help these ministries. Hmm. And do you see why it mentioned homeless in particular? Because the Israelites that Isaiah was speaking to, they were homeless. They were, they were without a land of their own. They were in exile. And so that's where our guiding light is directing us to look for um, a homeless ministry that, that you might be able to help out. Maybe it's praying for them. Maybe it's financially supporting them. Maybe it is finding a way that you can get in, maybe serve at a soup kitchen, something like that. Hmm. Something to think about, friends. But don't forget that while we are doing these things, we are always to shine the light of Christ into the darkness. I love you so much, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.